Okay, so I was trying to make this little twisty thing for my cosplay, like a Twizzler. So I ended up making this in Fusion 360, came out pretty good, but took me forever to figure out how to do. Um, so really all it is is just four little circles and a spline line sweeped, and then I used a twist. So I'll just show you how I redid it. Let me delete everything and um, go in here. So you can um, create either a center or a two point circle. And I snapped it to a center point here. So I have one of the points as uh, locked in and um, you can play around with the size. I did everything as four millimeters um, and I just created four of these. I played around creating five, six, um, but if you look at a Twizzler, I think they have about four. I also could have gone in here to circle and I played around with that, but the spacing was uh, too far apart and I found I couldn't get a good sweep and the pieces were too far apart. So I moved everything um, or each individual circle because you don't want them to be overlapping at all because then when you do your sweep, the pieces that'll fusion won't be happy, stuff will be overlapping. So just make sure you can move all the pieces. I found that you don't want them to be perfectly lined up. And then save, because we all know Fusion 360 never crashes. Um, so now we have that, I'm gonna come in here and create my spline on the opposite plane. So uh, you can create, I wouldn't do too many curves, I just did some basic um, spline moves with a few centimeters in between. Nice thing you can go back and edit your sketch if you mess up anything. So now we have our little spline and you can see that it's on a separate plane. So I found the best way to do this was come in here to sweep and the sweep just uh, creates a sketch profile on a separate plane. So select your profile and then come into your path. So your path is actually gonna be along this little spline we created. Yay, so select that. And now you have your four little extruded Twizzler pieces in this path, but how do you get them to twist? So there's this nice little thing down here. It's called twist angle. So you can adjust this to whatever little creation path you want. Um, I kind of played around, it just depends. I found to get like a good twist is like 180 um, degrees for the angle. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, let's go into render really quick and then put this nice not Wreck-It Ralph red on our little Twizzler candy piece for my hair. Yeah, that looks not too bad. And yay, we have a little twist. So. That's how you make your twist. You could also make the make it longer, smaller, bigger. Um, yeah, and then it prints and you don't need any supports. And it's like magic. Woohoo! Hope this guy's helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I probably don't know what I'm doing, but I'm glad to try to help. Bye!